Hey guys, uh, there was something we missed. Um, in part 7, we uh, we were able to choose if we trust uh, Bennett or not. And we had, or we should have used Bennett uh, to talk. It has its moments. About. Oh, um, like what? Everything that well, happened. Uh, once so we'll do I this came now. this close to solving the. Hey, Ed. Hi. I think this was it, actually. Um. Maybe we have to talk about this a little bit more. All right, smart guy. What do we do next? Anna wanted to go to the cemetery with me to see her uncle's grave. I guess I should speak to her. Okay. Hey, Anna. Yes? So, maybe we can talk about this. The guy who chased you, he didn't hurt you, did he? You don't need to get checked out? I'm fine. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about all this stuff. Any more thoughts on how Dr. Morales died? Honestly, I'm trying not to think about it too much. I'll grieve later, but now I need to focus. So I have the feeling that I missed something. I have the feeling. Okay. Um, and conversation. Later. Hey, you! Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's talk about this. Okay, no. Any thoughts? You got any ideas? Did Ed and Anna sneak off to the cemetery yet? Not yet. What I wouldn't give to be a fly on the wall when that happens. Oh, you creep. Anything on our shirt? Term memory? I have the feeling I missed something. It's so weird, I hate this. Did you notice the blackout last night? Yeah, I just left the subway. I was lucky, really. If I got off one stop later, I'd have been trapped on the train. So maybe we have to do this uh, the other way around. Uh, let's try this. Where are his last words? Your uncle holds the key were my uncle's last words. Any idea what that could mean? I never knew the man myself. You'd have better luck figuring that out than I would. I have the feeling I have I didn't ask about everything. I had to. I had to. So this kind of pisses me off. <coughs> mm, well, you know what? Let's just continue on. Um so you're gonna take, uh, I think, Anna and Ray and go to the security place. Mm hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. Just go to Tortoise Security. So, Ed, just how paranoid was yeah. Dr. Morales? Who cares? Come on. Anna's apartment, Tortoise Security. Oh, what do we have here? Security panels, tortoise display, heavy door. Let's look at this stuff first. Oh my god. What the hell? Welcome to Tortoise Security. JP Tortoise at your service. Can I interest you in a new state-of-the-art custom-built home security system today? Uh, no thank you. We have a special this week on document safes. They're fireproof, waterproof, and rapture ready. For only $9.99.98 you get the DocuSafe Halo, plus I'll throw in a personal bubble alarm free of charge. What do you say? Uh, personal bubble alarm? Yeah, what, what the heck is that? <clears throat> What's a personal bubble alarm? It's a new invention of mine. Using a combination of sonar and magnetic field disruption, it detects when someone has entered a radius of four feet from your person. An automated alarm then notifies the intruder that they have invaded your personal space. And do people buy them? Not yet. But I'm counting on the word spreading around the social anxiety disorder communities. <laughs> yeah, he's a good businessman. Let's talk about Morales' uh, financial stuff. Excuse me, but did you have a customer, Javi Morales? Maybe. I've had a lot of clients. I have a credit card statement showing that he spent a lot of money here. Okay. 
then you should know in my line of business, my clients value their privacy. Javi was my uncle. He died yesterday. And I need to know more about the vault you built for him. I'm sorry to hear that. Look, I remember Dr. Morales. He seemed like a really nice guy. But this is my business we're talking about here. I would need proof of death and a copy of his notarized will before I could release my records to anyone. Okay, we I think we have the um death death certificate. Didn't we pick it up? I think we did. Yeah we did. Here is my uncle's death certificate. It's really important that we get any information about the vault you have. I'm very sorry for your loss, but I still can't give you anything without seeing the will. Okay. I guess uh, we need the will, but let's uh, ask about uh, this other stuff here. It looks like business is doing well. Business is doing very well. My custom-built security systems are in major buildings and corporations all over AC. In fact, I've been having trouble keeping up with all the work that's come my way. I'd hire someone else, but, well, there's no one else who can work the magic like me. I see. Mm-hmm. Let's ask about him. You must really love your work. It's very profitable. Surely there's something in it for you more than just profit? Well, to tell you the truth, it is kind of tiring. Making high-tech security systems, alarms, and biometric scanners certainly pays the bills. But my real love is making ornate safes and puzzle boxes. It's an elegant art, one that doesn't really get appreciated around here. My masterpiece, the wooden safe on the table over there, has been collecting dust for weeks now. Mm hmm But hey, I suppose I should just be happy I can pay the bills, right? What makes the safe rapture ready? I'm glad you asked. Each safe is fitted with a self-destruct mechanism connected to a wireless transmitter. If and when the rapture comes to pass, a licensed blasphemer will trigger the mechanism, destroying all your documents. You wouldn't want all them left-behind heathens going through your personal effects now, would you? The rapture service plan comes at a low $29.99 per month. So, can I sign you up? No thanks. So I guess uh, the third eagle of the apocalypse would kind of be interested in this. Rapture ready? Please, I need to know about my uncle's vault. I can't give you any information until I've seen the will. I'm sorry. Okay, we have to get the will. Thank you. And I actually now know what to do. I'm sorry. Uh, let's choose Bennett. And let's go back to the police station first. Come on, Bennett. Uh, police administration. Okay. So, I think we have to put the control panel in our short-term memory. Let's look. Uh, I prefer solving crime the old-fashioned way. A boot to the head or a thump on the ear. Yeah, I guess you do, Bennett. And then we have to go upstairs. Sorry I missed this in the last, in the last part. Because I think we, we have to um, crack that archive machine. So I guess we try to do that. Um, certificates. It says the city archive was designed by Tortoise Security. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe someone there can tell me how I can get the blueprints out of this thing. Yes, oh, exactly. So, we have to go to, um, um, to, so we have to put the uh, city archive in our short-term memory, short-term memory, so we can talk to JP Tortoise about it. So let's get the hell out of here. I missed this, the last part. I'm sorry. Finished? Yeah, I'm finished. For now. Okay. Uh, where is it? Tortoise security. So is JP. 
Okay. Let's get get him out of the The box has four sides. Which one should I take a look at? It's blue. Oh my god, it's a puzzle. So how do we solve this puzzle? I don't know. Um but we'll find out later. So I actually want to so JP isn't here. There seems to be some mechanism inside. So what did he say? Sorry, I didn't. I missed that. Maybe he's gonna say it again. I don't know. Let's look at the safe designs. Why would I want that? Okay, so he's not interested at all. Fancy safe. So I guess uh, there's some kind of mechanism inside. And, oh my god. And I don't know if you remember, but uh, Anna has the, um, the sonograph. And she said if it's uh, calibrated in the right way, we can look through Excuse me, anything. detective? Yeah. Here, take this. Sure thing. So this is what we will try to do. I'll uh, choose Bennett and use the sonograph on the Ornit safe. This little gadget lets me see right into the mechanism. Box has four sides. Which one should I look? Which one should I take a look at? Uh, let's take a look at the blue side. Okay, so now we have the sonograph here. Oh, I get it. Uh, I think I do. So we have to put it maybe in the square. So what happens now? So did I unlock it now? Oh, I guess I did. Is this it? I don't know. Let's push the button. Maybe not. Uh, can we do anything with that down there? Maybe we have to get all of them inside. Oh, this is hard. Can I just... Yeah, I can. Okay. So now we have this here. But we can't move this, so I guess we have to... Can we turn it? Oh, we have to all... Oh, we have to line them up, I, th I guess. Well, let's try this. Maybe that's the right way to do it. Okay. Push it down. Can we push it down? No, we can't. Okay, I guess... We have to do something else. I think we have to um, get that thing in here and then push it down. Yeah, I knew it. So we are open the first side. Awesome. I like these kind of puzzles. Which one should I take a look at? The next one, green. Mm-hmm. So, how do we get that in there? I think we have no choice. We have to go in here. Hmm. Okay, let me try something. This up here. Go around. Maybe like this, and then put this in. S oh my god, no, I didn't want to do that. Oh, maybe we still have a chance. Oh my god, this is hard. I'm gonna reset. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys, it's not that easy. I'm not the uh, puzzle solving guy, I guess. So, let's put this over here. So, maybe we have to, I mean, we have to kind of push this thing up. How are we gonna do that? Put this up here, maybe. 
and then I have no clue. Maybe like this. Maybe like this. But how am I gonna move this to the side? <laughs> oh my god, this is too hard for me. Let's reset. Okay, one more time. One more time. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay, get this up. Get out. Get this up. Get both of them up. Put this down. Maybe. Why is it so hard? I want to get out of here. Okay, maybe like this. Okay, maybe and now I have a plan. Okay, so we can't fit this one in here. But there's one thing we can do, maybe. Maybe we can fit that one in here. Okay, that worked. Okay, I think we have to keep it in here, maybe. this thing away. Oh my god. <laughs> it's kidding me. No. Okay. Oh, let's try this again. So, this thing has to go away somehow. Maybe. Ooh, sorry guys. Okay, two more. Seems to me it's getting harder and harder. Yellow. Okay. So we have to get the small thing aligned with this white outline. I guess. That's how it works. So, let's try. So, what do we do? What do we do? We have to get it in here, I guess. I guess. So, let's get that thing maybe out of the way. Okay. This thing here Get this thing down and go up to the left like this and then we have it in here. Now this thing is in the way so let's try to... No, stay inside. Maybe up here? No. This thing is in the way. So let's move it all the way to this side first. And get that thing back in here. Now I blocked the way. Great. Okay. Maybe like this. Maybe like this. Yes. Awesome. We almost got it. One more. It doesn't get any easier. The last one was okay. Oh my god. So we have to get that thing in there. Okay. I think I have an idea. Let me think I do. Okay. Oh my god, everything is blocked. Let's push that there. This one. How are we gonna get this inside? We won't. Maybe like this. No. Okay. 
Put this down. And this to the left. And this up there. Now that thing is in the way. And that thing on the bottom is in the way. So we move the thing on the bottom. Which I'm now blocked off. Uh, let's get this back. So this has to go here. Right? Then that thing. Let's put it right here. Now I block my own. Oh my god. Okay. Now this is going to go down. No, it's not going to go down. This, this thing is going to go all the way to the left. This is going to go down. I'm going to put this on the left. And then we have to move that thing. But where? But where? It's not easy. Okay, let's try this. Oh my god. As you can see, guys, I'm not very good at this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let's reset it one more time. Move this. What, what do we have to move first so we can actually move? Okay. This thing right here. And here. So now we can't do anything here. Oh my god. What, this, what the hell is going on? So let's. Okay. Move this thing in the middle. No, let's not move it in the middle. God damn it, where do I go? Okay, maybe like this. Maybe like this. So we have to make some space. Let me put this in the middle. Okay, no, let's not put this in the middle. Let's move this down. This all the way on the left. This up. Yeah, let's move this like that. Great. And now... Done it. Ah, good job, Pred. Good job. I got it. JP. You solved it. You opened it. No one was supposed to open that. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry? You're sorry? I... This is fantastic. You solved it. For years I've been working on puzzle boxes like that one. I put them on display. No one even glances at them. But you, you must love a good puzzle as much as I do. I... We are kindred spirits. Finally, someone to share my hobby with. But... I'm gonna make you a new box. You are going to love it. Thanks. This is the start of a beautiful friendship. Oh my god. So, but now we can actually talk to him about the city archive. Did you design the city archive system? Yes, one of my earlier works. It's the greatest digital and physical clean room document storage in the history of mankind. I need you to tell me how I can access documents above my security clearance. Police business. I could get into very deep shit for this, all right? But you solved my puzzle box, so I owe you something. And if lives really are in danger... They are. Wait here. There's no way to change your security privileges without an administrator's biometric authentication. But the system has one weakness. This is a key card that gives you back-end access. It's for mechanical maintenance only. You could use this to recalibrate the arm that retrieves the documents. It will think it's grabbing a non-restricted document, but if you purposely align it incorrectly, it would actually be grabbing a different document, regardless of the document security level. Thank you. Anything for a kindred spirit. <laughs> awesome. So, we solved this. Great. Um, hey, Anna. What can I do for you? Let's regroup at the baseball field and then go to the next sure. thing we have to do. 
in the next part. Good. See you guys in the next part. Bye.